Hey y'all, y'all ready to get into some makeup? Uh, don't mind this mark right here. I was wrapping my hair every night and I was putting a wig cap on and it created that. So let's not pay attention to that, okay? <laughs> so I do have on Grace and Stella Collagen Boosting Eye Mask. It says 15 to 20 minutes. I just put on my happy birthday lip gloss from Bath and Body Works. Just because my lips are really dry. We're going to get off into another makeup stash. And we're going with the pinks. We're going to be playing in the Perfusions Fuchsia palette. And I kind of want to dig off into this because I said it in previous videos that I feel like I've been doing my makeup like I've, I'm learning how to do my makeup instead of me knowing how to do my makeup. So I was like, let's play in these pinks and let's try to push ourselves. All right. Before we get started, you guys, I want to talk to y'all about Circle. Circle has came out with a new 40 ounce tumbler. This is like the Stanley Cups. Circle is a water company that basically produce like water enhancements, like liquid IV. I love me some liquid IV. So my sister turned me on to Circle. They have flavored cartridges that you put inside of your water. I've had the regular bottle that they first came out with, and you just buy the cartridges separate, like this. They come like this inside of a box. So they came out with the new tumbler, and the tumbler is a straw tumbler. So it's a built-in straw. Can we see that? Let me get y'all in focus. There we go. It's a built-in straw, and as you can tell, it has a holster for their cartridge. And love it, love it, love it. I cannot put this down. With it being a tumbler, it literally holds your ice and your water at a cold temperature. The ice does melt because of the top, I'm assuming, but it does last a lot longer. Right now, I'm drinking blueberry grape cartridge calm and the cartridges come in the number one through nine, nine being the strongest. I hate water. I hate regular water. I'm always trying to flavor my water. And I know I need to drink more water, so circle for the win, okay? I will have circle a link to the circle tumbler down below. It was only 30 bucks. And if you could catch them at Walmart, they're 25 bucks. But when I check Walmart website, they're all sold out. So now that we talked about our circle bottle, and I spoke of it because y'all for real, for real, I be drinking a mess out of it. Let's get into this makeup look. I'm gonna start off with my Clean and Clear Watermelon Gel Moisturizer. This is a moisturizer that I love. And I used to use the mess out of it. And I don't know how I stopped. I guess using using and testing out other moisturizers and stuff, it's like it kind of ends up in the back of the drawer. I think I talked to y'all about wanting to go back to old school makeup. So I did repurchase me a LA Girl Pro Concealer um in the orange corrector so that i could ooh, go back to correcting my dark spots i was supposed to put on primer first i'm gonna go in with one heck of a block by one heck of a blot primer by soap and glory i used to love this stuff it used to come out so it used to make my skin so mad I'll let that sit there for a minute. I am going to go in with my brows and I'm going to do them. Avery Beauty Bar Brow Pencil. 
Now I do have more brow pencils in stock. I just no longer have a website. I am trying to come up with an area to sell my products. And I'm not gonna say like I gave up on my business. I'm just trying to figure out a different route. Now I do want my brows kind of dark. Here it is a whole brow pencil. I got the even New York brow pencil and I done pulled mine out thinking I didn't have a brow pencil. And I do have my contacts on. It feels like something's on my contacts. So if y'all see me rolling my eyes, it's because I feel like something's on my contact. I have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Deep Chestnut. This is fairly old, but as you can tell, I used it a whole lot. So, let's try to conceal these brows. Since we are playing with pinks, I am going to put this pink eye base from P, P. Louise on my eyes. Winter Rose is the color. A little goes a long way. Like, it be, it's so pigmented. Oops. It's so pigmented that you really have to be careful. Before we go any further, I am going to take my Black Radiance Press Powder and Bronze with a little bit of, I'm going to use my sponge a little bit, dip into and kind of set my corrector. It may not change it right off the bat, but it may not mask the color, but to keep it in place, I am going to sit everywhere that I put the concealer. I'm going to start off with Crush, which is this pretty light peachy brown, just to place it all over my crease and upper brow. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh no, it's not. And we all know I like to stipple everything in before blending. I'm taking that color all the way up to the brow bone just to make sure it's matted out. I think I'm going to go in with Proposal and start to stipple that in right at the crease and I am going to work it upward. Sometimes depending on how the eyeshadow is looking. Sometimes I don't even blend. I love Profusion, like for real. I really want to be on Profusion's PR list because the way I'm in love with their eyeshadow palettes and some of their products is like, I go with a lot of drugstore products though, like drugstore is for the win in 2024. I think I'm gonna go in with Splendora. Now sometimes I'll be having to swatch them and see what like what I'm going with. I'm gonna go in with Vamp first. I'm gonna go in with Vamp first and then I'm gonna go in with Splendora. Vamp is gonna be my second color gonna try to keep it low now with a smaller blending brush I'm gonna go in with 
Splendora. Place it right in the crease. This one. Let's see. It's not picking up like I thought it would. Maybe I have to get past that first layer. Okay, if we take the finger, it's better. And it's a goldy color. I did just wipe my hand off my fingers so that I can dip in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pile it up on my finger, but I'm just going to tap. I'm not going to swipe it like I did the pinks. So I think we do need a liquid liner. We're going to use the Maybelline Master Precise ink. <laughs> So did y'all watch the Olympics or are y'all ready for the Olympics? Because when I'm recording this, it's before the Olympics. By the time y'all see it, it'll be after the Olympics. So let me know, did y'all enjoy it? What were you mostly looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the gymnastics and the WNBA games. So we're going to dip off because the eyes are basically done. So we're going to dip off into this Laura Mercier foundation that I've had for a while. Um, this is the Flawless Luminaire Radiant Perfecting Foundation in 5W Amber. And yeah, girl. Platinum D here on YouTube sent me this. Platinum D here on YouTube sent me this. I did pick my own shade. I thought your girl knew what she was talking about, but... Ugh, this is, ooh, y'all. This is, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to use this one. We're going to put it on Poshmark and sell it. So if you're about this color, then girl, go on my Poshmark and buy it. Because that's not going to work. Let's go in with the Maybelline dream urban cover it says full coverage here we are and 348 mm -hmm. cafe let's see if we still like this oh i think this one oxidizes i'm gonna go in and go ahead and blend it because i think it oxidizes darker if i can remember right okay we're looking good we're looking good we're looking darker than in person but it's gonna oxidize and make it even more darker can't complain too much i am gonna use my merit bronze bomb and monarch y'all i go with merit real bad like for real for real i go with merit real bad they sent me over these products I'm so happy they did. This balm looks way more intimidating than what it is, as you could tell. Like, it is really not that dark. Sometimes I be forgetting that I should use my balm, my bronzer balm before foundation so that it could give like a true bronze color. It's still not as intimidating as it looks, but... I think it would show up even more if I do it before foundation. It's so minimalist and yet beautiful. Like you could see it, but you can't see it. I am going to go back in with that e.l.f. camo concealer. I'm going to pinch and blend with the tip of my nose or 
the bridge of my nose. I'm going to set my under eye with the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Powder. One of my favorite powders. I need my puffer there. It is stark white, but you guys, this stuff melts like butter. I'm going to use my Real Techniques. I'm gonna go back in with that Black Radiance. And I'm going to set the rest of my face while knocking off the powder. I've had this Black Radiance powder for a while, but you guys could tell like I really love the shape. I already hit pan and I'm trying to finish it up, honestly. I've had it for a while. We're going to go in with the Olimar Cosmetics Complexion Trio. We're going to dip into those deeper shades. Consistency, this powder is almost like a cream to powder, in my opinion. That's how I feel. I feel like it's like a cream to powder. It may not be everybody's cup of tea. Bronze how you like, baby. Bronze how you like. I'm going to go into another Olimar Cosmetics. This is a trio as well. This is a blush trio. Now, because we're on the pinky vibes, I'm kind of looking at this deep berry. But at the same time, I kind of feel like I kind of want to mix Candela with Deserted. This one and this one to keep it on the lighter side. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And these are very pigmented. Can we give a pinch nose? I am going to spray my face before I do my mascara and lashes. I use the Milani Prep and Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray. It's in a rose type of scent. Now I am going to take my Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte and Plum Crazy. And I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to take these Watch Me Sparkle Lashes and Goddess and pop these bad boys on. So I'm gonna take a little bit of crayon case on a roll highlighter. I think they discontinued this. I used this in one of my other videos and could not find the highlighter. I do apologize for that. I got to put on a little bit of highlight. Live Glam Kiss Me Liquid Lipstick. It doesn't have a name. So I'm going to There you have it you guys. Here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.